Good morning. It's actually good afternoon. We had to get going a little later than we wanted to. Uh, because I'm running out of hours on my 70 hour clock. I only have eight hours available to drive today to get to Canada and I'm 942 kilometers away from the border. But I can recap hours after midnight tonight, central time. So, it's three o'clock now, central time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine hours till midnight. Sometime throughout this day, I gotta take a half hour break and I can just turn it into an hour break if I wanted to, or two other coffee breaks or bathroom breaks. All in all, I should be arriving at the Canadian border just after midnight. And as soon as midnight hits, I get to recap hours. No, I won't be at the Canadian border. I'll be out of hours around midnight. Sorry, I'll be about two hours from the Canadian border yet. Then I get to start recapping hours from eight days ago. That'll be added onto my day at the end of the day today. So I'll be able to get to the Canadian border, then go into Canadian hours of service, and then I'll have plenty of hours to deliver and go pick up my reload and get home. We're cutting it close, but we mathed really good. And uh, we've done our pre-trip now. We're all set. We're all ready to go. Dogs have been walked. They've had their breakfast. I've got my breakfast right here. Uh, it's a Bolt House Farms Peach Parfait Breakfast Smoothie. I'm going to be all hipster on you today. Ugh. Okay. So I nosed in here yesterday, so we got to back out of our spot. I already walked back there, made sure no one was parked behind me. Because you never know. People don't think. Like, oh, this semi-truck is parked here. He's going to have to back out. Let's park right behind him. Good idea. It happens. Four ways on, people know here. I wonder why they got all these pylons over here. It's weird. Beautiful country out here. One of the many great things about Montana. The scenery is just incredible. And they got traffic lights here now. I, I can still remember when they didn't have any lights here. It's sometimes hard to get onto this road. Turn left on Highway 200, then keep right. Give her, bud. Oh, wait, wait. Car coming. Okay. He's turning. Come on, give her, bud. Go. station. It's a closed way station. I think we're getting close to the border with Idaho. I think that's what this scale is all about here. Usually in Canada and the United States, for those of you outside the continent, there's always a scale as you enter a new state or as you enter a new province uh, for the commercial vehicles. Very often, anyways. Very rarely that you come into a new state or province without a scale. So seeing this one here means to me that we must be getting close 
to Idaho because that's the next state. We got to go through that uh, the northern little what would you call it the northern panhandle or the northern little section of Idaho. It's only uh, like a short little distance to get across it. And then we're in Washington State. We'll be in Spokane, Washington, or Spokane, Spokane, Spokane. Some people say it's Spokane. I don't know. And then we'll be in Washington State for the rest of the day, and then crossing into Canada a little after midnight. Going straight to our customer and parking right there. And who knows, maybe I'll even get all the tarps and straps off tonight yet, and then go to sleep so that they can just start whenever they get there tomorrow and I got nothing to do, you know? We shall see. So it's been really cold back at home. I'm just kind of glad to be out here where it's warmer, but eventually, you know, after this, I gotta go back home. <laughs> Welcome to Idaho. That's right, Utah. So the way up the mountain was a little bit slippery in sections. There, had, there was one little Toyota Yaris that hit an ice patch and spun out and actually uh, hit the barrier. So he was all smashed up and then I, I was wondering because I thought the road was just wet, right? So I slowed right down and then I realized, oh, there's actually some patches that are, <laughs> what, do you, what do they call it, black ice? The sneaky ice. The ice that you can't see. So I don't want to hit any of that on the way down the mountain. I mean, it's okay hitting it on the way up. It's not as bad. But the way down, that could be uh, a little bit of a different story. Apparently this guy in front of me here is thinking the same thing. Except he's a little hardcore. He's going like 20 miles an hour. That's a little, I guess better safe than sorry. Coming up to Coeur d'Alene, which is uh, French for the heart of Elaine, I think. Of Elaine? Coeur d'Alene. I'll be corrected if that's wrong. This is pretty much the border, very close to the border with Idaho and Washington State. It's the North Idaho College here. So there's actually quite a quite a bit of people up in this northern section of of the state. I never quite understood why they have this 
thin stretch of land all the way up to the Canadian border. Maybe, maybe that was so that they could have access to Canada? I, I, I don't know. There is a commercial crossing uh, between Idaho and uh, British Columbia. I've gone through there a couple of times. Very beautiful area though, very. Are any of you from this area of the state of Idaho? You know, Britt and I have talked about moving to the states quite often. It's quite a lengthy process and it's not easy because it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be difficult. Otherwise, you know, all seven billion people on the planet would just pile in all at once, right? So, a little difficult, but if we ever had the opportunity, I mean, I think I would kind of push to move in like Western Montana, Idaho area, maybe even Utah. I don't know, those are some of my favorite areas of the US. I like how wide open it is. How American it is, does that make sense? <laughs> weather isn't too bad either. We are officially in Canada. Oh, that fog was short-lived, I was gonna say, and it got super foggy just as we got over the border. That was only for a short little while. Apparently it's only foggy around the border. So we just came in on Pacific Highway. I could have crossed right at Abbotsford, where we need to deliver, but they closed down their commercial crossing at 10 p.m. according to the interwebs. And the internet never lies, you know that. All the truth is on the internet. So anyway, I didn't want to risk it. I haven't crossed through there before. And I've crossed through here all the time, and this is 24 hours here, and I knew that for sure. So we came around here, so I still got 60 kilometers to go to go around. But uh, it's nighttime, so there shouldn't be any traffic. We are now in the province of British Columbia. It's not very British anymore, but uh, only by name. 